Hi, my name is Dr. Darren Schmidt, and I've been practicing hardcore holistic nutrition since 1998. I've been studying nutrition since 1994. Since 1998, my clinic has seen hundreds of thousands of patients. No medications, all nutrition. So along the way, I've learned some fantastic information, especially in 2016. I had black mold poisoning, and I thought I was going to die, but I saved my life. And in the meantime, I learned some great information that was lost in 1961, it was well known prior to World War II, and that's called lactic acidosis. It's the most common mechanism of chronic disease. So I just released a blog about this subject, and along with the blog, there's a free ebook and a free online course that you can jump into. So this blog has, that I just released talks about the history of lactic acidosis, and it was really well studied and it was taught in all the medical schools in the 1930s. And then after World War II, the pharmaceutical companies became very powerful. And then in the 1960s, there was a lawsuit and there was a piece of, of uh, science that was done. And those two things combined, plus some other things, made everybody forget about lactic acidosis. So, but, it's, but I brought it back in 2016 when I started reading these old books. And in the context of the new modern information, the old information still applies. So... In this blog, I also give an analogy about a car and flat tires, etc. I'm not going to get into it with this video, but it helps you understand how the body is trying to get along with your bad diet and with your toxins. And if you have fungus in your body, you have all these assaults or stressors on your body. And your body's doing the best it can. And it's doing this through um, this, this lactic acidosis as part of it. But the analogy gives you an understanding as to why your, your body's doing the things that it's doing while you're getting sicker and sicker. So click on the link below and this way and read the blog so you understand what your body's doing and why and then how you can stop it. So and then when you're after you read the blog, jump into the e-course and then you can also do the free uh, the ebook. Do the ebook first and then do the e the course later.